Welcome to this episode. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the Digic processors. Canon cameras have a Digic processor within them. You can see there's a number of different types. The older the camera, the lower the number generally. So you've got Digic 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 8. And some of the cameras, the newer cameras have Digic 8 and they're going, they're carrying on. What does it actually do? So the Digic processor is a chip within the camera and it helps the camera write the image you've taken from your sensor to your memory card. And depending on which Digic processor you've got, it's handling more information and making it better basically. So things like when you have high ISO cameras, so sometimes you can see a camera has 6400 ISO, but then it says also you can have it go up to 12,800. So most of the time it's the digit processor that handles that extra option to shoot in low light and how it handles those pixels before writing it to the camera. So it's extra functionality for the camera that it handles and decides how it writes it to the memory card. An um, example of that would be things like you get beautiful images even at ISO. ISO and that's because of the digit processor and the type you've got. Fast auto focusing. So if you're shooting live view, it gives you that option. Frame rate, so how FPS, frames per second, how it shoots continuously. So if you're shooting a bike going past, for example, each shot it takes and it buffers and writes to your camera, the actual Digic decides how well that is. So for example, an older Digic 4 will do like 3 frames per second, whereas new ones will do 6, 5, or you know, higher than that as well, some of the newer professional cameras. Um, that's something to think about. It also helps with video as well. So it's always evolving and 4K is coming out. So Digic processes help you there. Um, so that's a brief overview of Digic processes. Generally, newer cameras would have a higher number. So if you're looking at an older camera, that Digic processor is going to handle what the camera is pulling out. So you can't have like a really new camera with the old Digic processor because it's not going to be compatible. So it's something to think about. A lot of the cameras that I've covered in my comparison, I mentioned about the digit processor, but this is just brief explanation of what a digit processor is and what it helps you to do. I'm hoping you find that useful. You can check out some of my other videos that I've made about camera comparisons and see how you get on. And I'll see you on the next video.